Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and run the Lightroom Analytics tool that will analyze your Lightroom catalog and visualize your metadata. See, it says it right here, visualize your metadata. What that basically means is that the plugin is going to go through your catalog and analyze all of the metadata it can find coming in from your camera or through your develop settings in Lightroom. And it's going to show you some pretty cool charts that will show you how you use your camera and how you use Lightroom. It's probably better to show you rather than talk about it, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is visit the website lightroomanalytics.com and we need to download the plugin. So I'm going to click on the download tab up here and then on the top of the page is a download button. So I'm just going to click on that. Uh, it's free, you don't need to register, which is pretty great. So you can see I downloaded a zip file down here and I'm, I've already extracted the, the zip file and what's contained in it is the plugin file. So I'm going to switch over to Finder here, and what I do with my plugins is I put them on a folder in Dropbox, because that allows me to share the same .lr plugin, plugin file, with the different uh, instances of Lightroom that I have on my different computers. So uh, it just works out for me, uh, so I don't have to re-download it and extract it and all that stuff on all the other computers. So uh, I went ahead and moved it into my plugin folder. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to Lightroom and install the plugin. So in Lightroom, we install plugins by going to File, Plugin Manager, and I'm going to click on the Add button here and select my new plugin file. As you can see, I'm in my Dropbox Lightroom folder, and here's the lranalytics.lr plugin file. So I'm going to select that, click on Add, and now you should see that the Lightroom Analytics plugin is installed and running. I'm going to click on Done, and now we want to run the plugin. The plugin will run on any selected images or folders that you have. So that's something to keep in mind is if you have a few images here selected, but you have your folder selected as well, it's only going to run on the four images that I have selected. So you can see down here where it says four selected. Uh, so if you want to run it on a folder, make sure you don't have any individual images selected. So I hit Command D to unselect my images and you can see I've got 55,119 photos that the plugin will run against. I'm also running it against my originals folder. My process folder, which is the exports from Lightroom, or my JPEG images, which may or may not have any of the metadata from the camera that I care about, and it probably won't have most of the develop setting information that I care about either. So. I'm going to run this against my originals folder, which is all of my raw files uh, and the develop settings that were uh, done inside of Lightroom. So that is really the information that we want the plugin to, to have available to, to show us the charts for. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to run it. So again, I got the folder selected. I don't have any individual images selected, so it's telling me I got 55,119 photos. To run the plugin, we're going to go under File. Plugin Extras, and with the plugin installed now, I've got a Lightroom Analytics uh, item here with a link for export metadata. So I'm going to click on that. And on the top left, you can see it says Crunching Metadata. So depending on how many images you have and how, uh, how much memory and, and how fast your computer is, this could take uh, between 5 to 10 minutes for me with 55,000 images. So I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. And when I come back, we'll pull up the output from the plugin and we'll see what my catalog says about me. So the plugin is done. So what we're going to do now is download the viewer and pull up my data. So the viewer, going back to the download page for the Lightroom Analytics plugin, if you scroll down, you'll see there's a download viewer link. So the plugin is just the plugin, but if you want to see the output of the plugin, you need this viewer as well. So I'm going to click on the button, and it's another zip file, and it's another, when I extract the zip file, what you get is an HTML file here and three folders that are uh, used by the viewer to, to render everything. So uh, I'm going to drag this HTML file into my browser, and you'll see a page that looks like this. It's the reporting tool. Uh, so when the plugin finishes, it creates a couple of files on your desktop, and you can see them here. It's a Lightroom Analytics.csv file, uh, which is a comma separated file of, of information, and this .json file. This .json file is what I want to drag into 
the reporting tool. So I'm simply going to click my mouse, drag it over, and drag it right on top of this uh, Lightroom Analytics.html page that I had loaded earlier. And as you can see, it says your data is successfully loaded. We have received data for 55,119 images. And those are all of the images that were in my originals folder. So here's my data. And as you can see, the first section is the camera information. And these are all the different cameras that I've used uh, over the last couple of years. You can see I, most of the time I shoot in manual mode because that's awesome. Uh, you can, and there's a bunch of information about how, uh, what shutter speeds I use the most, uh, ISO settings. You can see I've got a bunch up here in the higher ISOs because I do a lot of theater photography, which is low light, so I take advantage of the higher ISOs of my camera. I do a lot of portrait photography, so you can see the focal lengths that I use are mostly related to the, the good portrait distances of my 50 millimeter lens. Here's all the lenses that I've used. Uh, there's a bunch of information in here about how I process things in light in Lightroom, um, and it's really just a lot, a lot of information. Uh, that uh, it's pretty interesting because it does, as I said, it does show you um, sort of where the sweet spot is for the type of photography that you do, and it'd be interesting to see uh, over the different years how my settings have changed. Uh, if I'm doing different types of photography now than I was doing maybe five years ago, uh, that would be reflected in some of these charts as well. Uh, a lot of people start with maybe the aperture or automatic mode or uh, one of the, the set modes on their camera and then eventually evolve to manual so you could, you'd be able to see how that evolves as well. So um, it, it really has a lot of information that's uh, it's cool and it's, it's useful to just kind of get a snapshot of, uh, of your photography and, and where you are and, and what you can what you're doing with it so uh, I hope you found that tutorial helpful uh, if you have any questions about how to install or run the plugin you can always reach out to me over Twitter uh, and for more uh, remember to check us out over at lightroomfanatic.com